A U.S. drug company is being accused of overcharging Canadians for one of the most expensive drugs in the world. The drug is called Solaris. It is a life-saving treatment for two deadly diseases. The price patients are paying out of pocket half a million dollars per year. Kelly Crow has the story. These days, Josh DiBertoli is back to being a healthy, normal 13-year-old. He has a rare immune disorder that destroys his red blood cells. So his life depends on regular infusions of this, called Solaris, one of the costliest drugs in the world. Holy hell on earth, that's expensive. Half a million a year is expensive to anyone. Right now, the family is getting the drug free from the drug company, but they know it's a limited time offer. We understand that it's a business and we understand that he's receiving a half million dollar drug every year, or whatever the cost of it is. Um, and we're grateful, but realistically, we know that at some point that's going to come to an end. The drug is so expensive, patients depend on governments or private insurance companies to pick up the cost. And right now, provinces will only pay for some patients under certain circumstances. Michael Eigenram doesn't qualify. Because I'm not on the drug and I have kidney failure, of course, I have to do dialysis to stay alive. Sales of Solaris have made Alexion Pharmaceuticals one of the fastest growing companies in the world. So far, it has refused to explain the reasons for the extreme price. But this University of Toronto researcher says most of the scientific discoveries behind the drug were made by publicly funded researchers. I think the public science is well over 80 or 90 percent of the work. I think that's not in dispute. The public resources went into understanding the molecular basis of the disease. Public resources went into developing the technology to make antibodies. And then finally, Alexion, to their credit, kind of picked up the pieces. And he says drugs like Solaris are cheaper to manufacture than many people think. It probably costs less than 1% of the price of the drug to make the drugs. And this week, the federal watchdog on drug prices began a process to force Alexion to lower the Canadian price, which it says is the highest in the world. Alexion refused CBC's request for an interview. Kelly Crow, CBC News, Toronto.